up, guys? Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're messing me up. I'm so angry. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode four of the BFGF Shopify Store Challenge, going from zero to $1,000 with our Shopify store. I know we're going to get there. So in this video, we're going to be finishing up our store and also starting our Facebook page. We're going to be installing some apps and uh, getting everything optimized, getting all the settings set up and then setting up a Facebook page later. And then next episode, or maybe, yeah, probably next episode, we're gonna start actually getting the Facebook ads through the door. And that's where the real start, that's where the real money starts coming in. Hope you guys enjoy this video. It should be really helpful for you, getting everything set up. Uh, gonna be include some good tips, but also be funny as well. So hope you guys enjoy. That was like one breath, are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. I like, you always just like <clears throat> brush through it. Like you're never like, mm, like Brittany. Mm. Okay, let's go. Let's get our settings done. Let's go. Okay, well, I can't you, uh, chill out. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna go through all these and make sure we got everything set up good. Okay, now we just need to add our apps. How do we do that? All right, so I, if you can see at the top tab there, I put a list of apps that we need to get. So we need pretty, all of those ones basically. How do I get those? You just search the app store. Right here? Mm -hmm. Privy? Yeah. Basically the one what we're going to use this for is for exit, uh, try to email grab. So if somebody leaves the website, then we're going to uh, use that to capture their email. Like give them 10% off if they're about to leave the website. We're probably not going to set it up right away, but uh, once we actually get a couple sales, then we'll probably set it up. Shopify Messenger. Oh, well, I think you have to have a Facebook page probably for that to work. But Okay, so guys, just so you know, the reason... Um, I put the I put these apps together after watching a couple probably like five videos on like what the best apps were and kind of compiled them together on which ones I thought would be the most effective and most of them are also free so I'll probably get more paid ones as we like actually start making sales but this is like you just want to keep it bare bones basic before you get any sales because there's no reason to waste a bunch of time like as you can see we're not even messing with these apps because it's after ship app. There's no reason to set all this up until we know that we're getting sales. So probably once we get like 10 sales, five, 10 sales, I'm probably going to set all this up though. It's like as soon as possible. You just, and it kind of pushes you to move really fast at the same time. Um, consistent cart. What did that one do? I can't remember. I just installed it. I have no idea. I think it's like an email marketing software. I'm pretty sure. See, I don't even know what these apps mean, but I just remember looking them all up and like figuring out the best ones. All right, Perfy. This one does cost money though, I think, but we don't have to use this right away either. So seven dollars a month. So that's not, not that yet. much. Get it real quick. Account well, we're not gonna buy it, but just install it. Sales Pop is makes like the little notifications pop up when somebody in your store purchases stuff, so people can see like when they come into their store, you can say like, hey, so and so purchased something like three hours ago or something like that, so they know it's like social proof. That's ninety nine a month, so press get, but we won't use it. Photo reviews, that's pretty obvious, that Luke's one. Boost sales, upsell, and cross sale. Okay, so basically what this one does, <gasps> yeah, that $30. one's expensive. But it, um, th like what, what's going to happen is when somebody buys some another product in our store, it's going to like, hey, do you want this product next? That's what it's going to do. So you can do the get thing too. Install that as well. Why not? And then exit out of that. All right, so product reviews. All right, so basically what I wanted to do is uh, this is one thing we might do today or we might do this another day because it's probably boring. I'll probably leave this out of the video actually because it'll be boring. Basically, we're going to do copy and paste the product reviews from Alibaba into our store. Seven. It says no. Huh? Why? Why did they do that? Oh. <laughs> oh, whatever. So we'll probably add those product reviews in our store later, but let's go create our, let's exit out of that Google sh sh sheet and let's make our Facebook page. Yay! That's fun. Can I have my water, please? Water! Guess which one we would be? Um, brand or product? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> okay, go. A profile picture. I should do this one or this one? That one should be a cover picture. This one? Mm -hmm. This no, one? That one should be a profile picture. So this one? Mm hmm. No. Which one's for the profile picture? That one, I just said that. Jeez Louise. Okay, it worked. Oh, look, they even match, like the black and white matching stuff. Alright, we'll invite some people later. Cool, everything looks good, everything looks good. Um, Website. Hmm? What is it? Oh, you spelled it wrong, though. I don't know how to fix the website name. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm so sorry. How Watch do you out. do that? Okay, look up how to change Shopify website name. You figure that out. I gotta go to the bathroom. Wait, what? Primary don't pay attention. What the fuck? Oh my god. Where do I need to get to that? 
Well, you looked it up? Uh-huh. Oh, I got it. Watch out. Oh my gosh, you can't change it. Okay, let's just... Oh, it's okay. Okay, so we gotta pretty much buy a domain name, probably. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Buy it later. I'll buy it later. Okay. If you guys don't know how to buy a domain, it's really easy. Just go on something like Namecheap.com and get buy a domain there. It's super easy, and then you just put in... Just follow, just search on Shopify Help Center, like, how to add your domain. It's probably super easy. Um, so I guess we gotta use our stupid set of names. Sorry, I didn't know. There's people be setting up the on fire alarm every freaking day. It's terrible. We hate our neighbors above us. They're awful. Every time they walk around, it sounds like elephants are stomping. I'm not even joking. Well, she would make, make our ads in this video. That's all I had to do. We'll do an Instagram after we start getting sales. We should really invite to our page. <laughs> people are engaged. I'm just gonna invite these people. Really? They're my so friends. Weird. Well, we need some page likes so we can do stuff. Invite my sister. I'm and not my gonna mom. invite everyone. Invite my sister and my mom. These guys are cool. This is this is a, this is the benefit of having some good friends. A lot of followers on Facebook. You can invite a shit ton of people to your page. <gasps> Accepted your invite. Ha <laughs> he's the man. Shout out to Jordan Anthony, first person to like our page. Let me like my own page, though. How about that? Are you not friends with my mom? Oh. I'm just going to invite, like, 20 more people, and then I'm just going to be done, because I don't want to take forever just inviting people. <laughs> Alex Becker. <laughs> Fucking invite him to my page. <laughs> what if he liked it? Dude, I would be so hyped if he liked it. Would you pee your pants? <clears throat> yeah, see, these people are OGs. I got the OGs on Facebook. I hope I But shout out to the Facebook me. fam. If you guys don't have me on Facebook... I only have like 200 friends left, 300 friend spots left, so you better add me before they run out. Yeah, I'm so popular. Yep. I'm so popular, I'm really well fun. <laughs> All my friends are dead. I'm your friend. Want me to die? No. No thanks. Probably should have added more girls, to be honest. But Yeah, the right. fuck? <laughs> They're all guys, though. <laughs> I guess, like, mostly guys will add me on Facebook, because mostly guys are interested in making money. I don't know what's up, what's up, with, the, girls what's up with the girls. Money. How come the girl, more girls aren't trying to make money online and stuff? Why is it all guys? Because they know I'm your fiance. No, I'm saying why aren't more why why is it all guys that are trying to make money online? There's like no girls trying to make money online. I'm making money with you online right now. We ain't making money yet. Well, no. <laughs> all right, let's start to make some ads. Let's get some ads started. That'll be fun. Okay, we have to stop in 15 minutes because my attention span isn't going good. All right, that's fine. Trevor Gregory, except for that. All right, let's start some ads. Okay, right. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Stop! Right. He's trying to take the mouse from me. Well, you don't know how to do it. Okay, so... Well, you have to explain I that. have the business manager right there. Uh-huh. So, business manager. Yeah. People liking our page already. No. Boom. Boom. All right, so business settings. Can I go in over? In the top right. Can I go over here? Yeah. If you guys don't know what this is, if you never created a Shopify page before, basically a business manager allows you to run multiple ad accounts under one place. So... Uh, if you want a business manager, just type in business manager in Google and you can sign up for an account there. So go to business settings. You sound so natural on camera. Remember when you did it? Well, thanks. You worked so hard. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, you guys listen to that. If you just think about starting a YouTube channel. He you sucks get better. at being in front of the camera, but okay. he is so good now. Go to pages. You sound so natural. Like, you're like, thanks. Are you welcome? I just write the... Wow. All right. Okay, all next. All right, all right, all right. You should put me as an admin. What's Make that sure. Fun? Okay, we're good. And then go to add accounts. And then you want to do create a new top right and add a new ad account. Create a new one. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Now I'm going to go to ads manager over here. Except chrysanthemum. That's a word I memorized. You, guys, you know how to spell that? C H R Y S T A. Oh, hold on. You would have lost the spelling bee. T-H-E-M-U-M, chrysanthemum. Oh, my God. That's the one word I had to l learn so bad. Start to... typing the... Okay, I'm not even control of the mouse anymore. Billy just took it from me. So he's... Okay, so we need to go here. <laughs> to click this down, Britt. All right, I'll let you do it. Go back. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the all tools part, and we're going to create a pixel. Ooh. Do you know what a pixel is? A picture. No. Oh, <laughs> I don't pixel? know. Okay, create a pixel. Why are you being like okay, that? I don't know. A pixel is for you as a newbie. A pixel is when somebody visits your website, Facebook will track it. 
Cool. So you can retarget them with new ads, okay? All right, so we use integration or tag manager because we have Shopify. It's the Shopify button. <gasps> All right, so now all I have to do is follow the directions. Go Copy good. that ID right there. Right here? Yep. Oh, I fucked this a long ass ID. I didn't blame All right, then we go to our store. And then you click on the online store, and then you go to preferences. All right, and then put the Facebook pixel. Oh, yeah. Look, the one that says Facebook pixel, we got to put it in there. We'll put the Google Analytics one in there, too, but I just don't want to do that today because that's a whole other deal. That's all you have to do. Uh-uh. We did that. Oh, my gosh. This is the most basic <laughs> thing ever. Oh my gosh, we did that. Close it. We did it. Close. You installed the pixel. All you do is copy and paste something. Congratulations. Um. Okay, now we're going to do create an ad on the top right, and we're going to make a freaking ad. <sighs> Are you okay? Yep. And then we go to our store, and we got to figure out which product we're going to try out first, and we're going to make it our first ad for. The mugs. The mugs is a little bit harder of a product to advertise, though, because it's more expensive. So this or this. Mrs. Necklace mugs, other thing. I guess we can try out the mugs. It's gonna be kind of hard though to start out. Whatever, we'll just try. Twenty-one ninety-eight. We'll just do the mugs. Everything looks super good. I know we just have to change the prices of things, hun. All right, so we're gonna call this audience. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna name that. So we got first thing. This is how I always name my stuff. Uh, what our objective is. So our objective is getting engagement. And then our our ad is for the marble mugs, and then we are targeting recently engaged i can set this up later okay so what we need to do is actually we need to make a post on the page we already saved this audience luckily so um i'm gonna need to i'm just gonna skip this part and we're just gonna make a post on the page and do it that way i think uh -huh. <laughs> what the hell all right so we need to put a post on our page and we need to go to our pictures it's nice to have like with somebody actually holding it because then you can like see that it's real damn they even look really look how good they look in the re product reviews yeah, like we really need to put these products on our review, on our review section. Oh, do you know what we can do? You could use like these uh, reviews, put like five star emojis. It's like a retargeting. So if someone clicks the first ad, they see a five, they see like five star emojis. And then it's like uh, a quote from one of our recent customers. And then you say like that. And then we might have like three different ones of that. So there's basically seeing it everywhere at that point. Okay. It's a good idea. Mm -hmm. So we need to go to our Facebook page now. This is the last thing we're doing on this episode. We got 11 likes already. Yay! <laughs> I gotta invite Edward. All these people. Ready, Quinn. That's me. All right, so we have two options, okay? Uh, we can try both, actually. Okay. But here we go. Oh, look, Billy was invited you to like the engagement. So we have two options. Um, we can either create a slideshow carousel, or we can do like a three picture thing. I like the carousel. Okay, like we'll try carousel. Whatever, that's fine. <sighs> that looks so good. I can't believe you know how to do all this stuff. Bro, this is my job. <laughs> the fuck is this though? What? Why did it zoom in so far? Just edit it. Why? <laughs> Damn, Billy. What the hell? Why did it do that? I'm so annoyed. These look so good. Oh my god. Alright, so... Let's just write it by hand, I guess. Who do you think would like this more? We're gonna try it between... I guess we're gonna try a mixture between married women and... and engaged women? Yeah. Engaged because they're newly engaged. When I first got engaged, I was like... I need everything engaged. I need everything missing. They would do the same thing when you get married, though. I mean, I'll still want stuff, but it won't be, like, much as a want. Like, I was, or I need. I was like, I need stuff like that. Got you. So we're going to do, like, three variations. Newly engaged. Newly engaged. Friends of newly married. Newly engaged. Newly married. Okay. I'm going to do all women. Fine. Because guys wouldn't even buy this kind of stuff. What if they're gay? All right, so how much do these cost normally? Twelve twenty-one. Um, what can we give on these? We can give free shipping. I want to charge like twenty-four forty-nine a piece. A piece? Yeah, you think that's fair? So we need to do twenty-nine ninety-nine for one, and then we're gonna do forty-nine ninety-nine for two, right? Okay. Okay, guys. So basically, let me give you a rundown of what the the idea is behind this. As far as the ad copy on. Ads like this, like e-commerce ads, uh, usually really basic does well. So keeping it uh, everything above the fold basically is what you'd say. So you want to make sure there's no see more button for the most part. Now on mobile there is right now. So I'm going to have to change this to make it not 
not show up. You guys can see that. You can see like there's a see more button. We want to try to get rid of that. So the link is above the see more button. So the way that we do that is we're going to have to just sort in the text here. But basically besides that, there were other reasons behind this ad. The main first part of it, I always like to do this in all of my mad ads, no matter every niche it is. Say, hey ladies, and I kind of put the little ring there to like catch people's attention. The reason for the emoji is just to catch people's attention. Once again, makes it stand out from the normal feed. These, uh, these pictures like absolutely beautiful um on mobile i just checked it out and they can kind of scroll here you know girls are gonna be scrolling through this like crazy i kind of dig i kind of like your idea of the carousel ad actually i think it's pretty fitting for this kind of product so this week we're offering free shipping i mean obviously that's just like what we're offering this is special and we're trying to make it limited so only the first 50 people who purchase get yours today and then they click the link, takes them to the page. There you go. And I put the little arrow there to make it really obvious for the link. And I kind of do this in all of my ads, no matter what kind of client I'm working with for the most part. And down here, like down here, I'm probably going to change this to say, I'm going to say like free shipping today only or something like that. Um, Save $15. Tag a friend, recently married. The reason for this is just because I know people are going to be tagging people like crazy in this. And this helps to get the like overall engagement and social proof up when they, other people see people doing this. So I'm going to see if I can shorten this though to get it down to one line so it bumps up the of this but yeah that's that's kind of the concept behind it keep it pretty simple pretty basic we'll test out other things as we go making it like for example let's see what kind of things i said in here like this is something you could include in the ad copy perfect way this but you don't want to copy it exactly just an example we're probably going to change this and i'm going to see if i can get some stuff more set up for you next video and kind of get some stuff done and just like run you through what we've done in the next video so we can keep it really short and really easy for you guys to understand and be like super value packed so if you guys like this value video packed and you want to see the next one, make sure you give this a likes, give it, give it a thumbs up. We'll do it. I think we'll release the next video at 50 likes. So you guys got to make sure you get to 50 likes and we will release the next video, which is going to be super value packed. We're going to have all the ads in there for you. And actually we might even have some results for you if we get the ads running, but we'll probably have different variations of the ads. We'll have everything set up and we're just going to give you an overview next time rather than walking through live. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. Britt, do you have anything else to mention? Subscribe to Billy. Yes, please. Mm. Um, but anyways, thanks for helping me with the store. Uh, what's, what have you learned so far? Well, how things you just take over the mount? Oh, shoot. I'm not doing a very good job then. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, what have you learned so far? Um, wording is important in ads. Um, I learned to get the cleanest images. Mm. Did you learn how to set up a store? Yeah. Do you know how to now? No. Oh, my God. I probably have to do it like again. Okay, I'll try to do better at teaching you how to actually do this stuff, okay? Okay. But you did help me very much choosing the products and doing a lot of stuff. So I appreciate it. All right, guys, so I figured to show you this real quick. I did change it a little bit, and I'm going to show you the screen right now on my phone so you can see the difference here. Okay. Um, yeah, basically, I got it all above the See More button so you could know what I'm talking about and how good it looks. So let's get that on the camera, as you guys can see there. You can kind of get an idea, but you can read it on the screen, too. Got it on one thing. It looks super good. This post looks super good. So I'm really happy with it. I'll probably test this out sometime and edit it a little bit more. I'll probably edit the pictures and stuff a little bit more. But besides that, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. I'm out. Bye.